Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access a Trader.com. A uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a good day of uh, trading. It's hard to believe it's already Wednesday. It feels like the weeks are just really flying by. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, again, once again, all I ask is if you like uh, the message, if you like the content, if you like the technical analysis, the unbiased version of getting you ready for the next day, kind of putting yourself into my shoes, viewing the market from a 25-year-plus uh, set of eyes, then all I ask is if you have kind to just click a like. That's it. Click a like, share, subscribe if you haven't come aboard already, and I will hopefully try to continue my best. So market continues to uh, bounce. Uh, again, we talked about uh, the potential of sellers getting tired uh, for the last several days. Yesterday, we had uh, a pretty significant attack on the bear's uh, by the bulls, Nasdaq was up like 400 points yesterday. Today was the second day of the back-to-back inflation reading. Um, not bad, not bad. You know, not bad. Uh, S&P rose today for the fifth straight day. Nasdaq continues to grind. Uh, you know, the easing inflation narrative uh, is now on the table for potential uh, rate cuts at some point uh, throughout either uh, end of this year or next year. And the market just keeps on grinding along. It, you know, today wasn't like yesterday that everything was moving, you know, $10 here, $3 here, $4 here, but this is calmness, right? You need calmness. You can't have uh, days that everything is moving up in dollars because, again, even the biggest bull, uh, regardless if you're long or not, even the biggest bull uh, will turn around and go, whoa, 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 the market's, uh, you know, going too far, too fast. Uh, we need a break. And that's kind of what we got today. Uh, if you look at the scoreboard, Dow, uh, up another 200 points today. You got the S&P, again, fifth consecutive day of green, up 20. And the NASDAQ at the close uh, pretty much eked out again. And you can see here, it's pretty, you know, this balance has been pretty orderly. You know, this balance here uh, got rejected off uh, the 65-day. And then they reclaimed the 65-day, traded to the 10, reclaimed the 10, reclaimed the 20. And today we're back to... Uh, the 200 day, I uh, was in 200 day. No, we are back to where are we? We are back to the 50 day EMA, right? EMA is not as significant as the SMA, but at least now we're using the word 50 day, right? We're using the word 50 day again. Uh, obviously, when we lost it the first time, it was a tremendous move to the downside. Sellers, like I said yesterday and kind of reiterated a couple of minutes ago, seems like they're getting tired. We'll see. Again, doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet, but you can see here how structurally, orderly the market's been going up. And again, what's the common denominator uh, today? The market puts in another higher low for you know seven out of the last eight days. So it's very, very bullish. So what the market needs to do or continue to do is continue to push higher. Uh, obviously, and we'll get to NVIDIA in a second. NVIDIA is uh, probably the last of the mega cap names uh, to come out with earnings that could potentially uh, make the market uh, move one way or another. Uh, but as you can see here today, we got rejected off this uh, 465 level, uh, which is the 50-day EMA. Uh, if the bulls want this to extend, and again, it doesn't necessarily have to happen tomorrow, but if the bulls want to extend, we need to close above this 465. If we get a close above this 465, then guys, here it is. Then we have our B shot, a uh, clean gap uh, right to the 50 day moving average. And again, I don't want to put the cart in front of the horse, but if the bulls can reclaim back the 50 day moving average, everything that we talked about here becomes the best, right? Nobody cares and risk becomes on. Because again, the last thing bears want to do is allow the bulls to get back above the 50 day. Because again, all you need to do is right here, look what happens uh, when the bulls reclaim back the 50 day, right? We go on a massive, massive, massive run. And that goes for ETFs, uh, anything, any asset class, ETF, equities, uh, everything in between. And kind of a good segue, right? Kind of a good segue where potentially some names can get that push off the 50-day moving average. Let's talk about NVIDIA. So 
NVIDIA, as you can see here, is a stone throw away above, you know, right next. You see that, guys? You see every single time it hit this blue line, that's the 50-day, right? It keeps on getting rejected the 50-day. They were coming to, and granted, they, they come out with earnings on the 28th, so two weeks from now, but they were pounding today, pounding today, all day, the 120 weeklies, all day, 120, 120 weeklies, even when the market had a dip in the middle of the morning and we went red and we, you know, we kind of helped, NVIDIA held, NVIDIA, NVIDIA held up. Uh, is there a possible chance they try to run this thing aggressively uh, ahead of their uh, earnings report on the 28th? Yeah, why not, right? But the key level here is the 50-day, right? If we can get above the 50-day moving average on a close, and again, it doesn't necessarily have to be tomorrow or the next day, but just put that level in front of you. If we can get above the 50-day on the close, it could open up a really, really good path for us to get a pre-earnings run, and that would be really amazing. Uh, we also saw some 125 uh, Septembers come in, and we saw some dated uh, dated ones for the 140s, 150s uh, going into, uh, going into uh, the end of part of the fourth uh, quarter. But just again, just to give you an idea of what happens when a stock confirms the 50-day moving average, here was Netflix. I missed Netflix yesterday, right? But here was Netflix. You see how Netflix hit the blue line, right? Hit the blue line, say confirmed the, uh, and the blue line and exploded. Well, again, that's all point of NVIDIA. Watch NVIDIA. If NVIDIA gets above this blue line, which is the 50-day moving average, uh, NVIDIA looks uh, just great. Just absolutely great if it could get above this light area. And if you ever watch the PS60 Theory workshops, and again, they're completely free, guys. All you got to do is uh, I think it's it's in the link below. Whatever case may be, I'm sure Kenyon could put a link in there. It's it's like nine ten hours breaking down the PS60 theory. It's completely free. Nobody's asking you for anything. Uh, all you got to do is just just check it out. If it's and it breaks down the theory for about ten hours. But the whole point is, uh, if you can get above the 50 day, it will create the Barry Sanders effect without going into any de a lot of details. It's just going to basically give you room uh, to run uh, to uh, the end zone. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Everything else pretty much uh, rested today. Um, Amazon uh, Amazon continues to hold up very, very well, even though it put in a red candle today. Again, first close above this whole supply zone. Uh, AMD broke out yesterday, uh, got you know rejected off the 20-day. But you can see, you can see every level and why it's important for all those levels to continue con to confirm. Uh, Meta, we talked about yesterday. I thought we could get to 534 today. Look at the eye of the day today, right? Da, 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 534. Again, all you have to do is go back to last night's video. Um, Google. Google hit, got hit with some antitrust uh, news this morning, potential monopoly. Uh, we had a nice little pivot on uh, Google from the 59s to the 57s. Again, nothing crazy, but again, they kind of brought it, brought it back up. Uh, Apple continues to grind every level, right, guys? Again, here's another example, right? Here's another example why the 50-day moving average is so important. You see how three times Apple got rejected off the 50-day and finally in the fourth attempt, right? Barry Sanders effects opened up the daylight. So again, that's my point. Watch in video for the next couple of days. One stock that didn't participate today, and usually it's not a big deal they wouldn't participate, but it kind of gave back pretty much of everything of yesterday's gains. Uh, didn't make sense because the big number here was above this 201 level and confirming above 204, kind of pretty much gave back 80% of the move. Not really good. It's not really what you want to see on Tesla. So Tesla really has to figure out what it wants to do. Obviously, I'm always on the lookout for the previous day's range in case it gets pulled, but you know, gotta it has to figure out here. So you know, it's now it's a little closer to the bottom of the range here the last couple of days than it is to the top. So it has to kind of figure out. Uh, what it wants to uh, do. Let me give you guys some uh, names, uh, some other names uh, going into tomorrow uh, that look pretty interesting. Look at Texas Instruments. Again, another semiconductor, guys, right? 50-day, right? Yes, they hit the 50-day. Look how close Texas Instruments is to 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 uh, getting back above the 50-day. Okay, guys, you can't, if you're brand new to trading, and I said the word 50-day moving average today probably about a dozen times, I can't under utilize that word enough when you're up against a potential reclaim of a potential momentum shift, right? Momentum shift in a stock. So watch Texas Instruments tomorrow if it could get back above uh, the 50-day moving average. Uh, Avago, 
uh, looks pretty good, right? You see how Vago today got rejected off the 50-day? Watch this whole channel here tomorrow, guys. If Vago reclaims back the 50-day tomorrow, this thing could wake up as well. And TTD software name, uh, you can see how close this thing is ready to break out, man. This thing had a massive move about about four days ago. It was going sideways. The only reason it got rejected today uh, was this linear regression line. If it could get back above this linear regression line tomorrow, this thing can start to stretch. So again, business as usual, uh, you know, had a couple of bounce plays today. Uh, NVIDIA gave us a move. Uh, you know, Microsoft gave a move. Meta gave a move. But yeah, again, business as usual today. Not every single day uh, needs to be this fireworks session. Uh, sometimes uh, a good mental res day kind of keeps you on your toes, keeps you, you know, very, very patient, uh, keeps you honest. That's the best way of looking at it. Keeps you honest and not prostituting your money. So tomorrow, again, unless we have some, you know, crazy news, I'm always on the lookout for anything that could potentially pull the market. But unless we have uh, no fundamental news, let's see if this uh, bull uh, latest bounce can continue. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great night. Watch the video, guys. I'm telling you, watch the video for the next couple of days. Oh, God's help. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.